visible to you. Yes, sir, they're visible. All right, thank you. All right, there are certain definitions that are associated when we are dealing with pressures and gases and liquids. Uh, one of the definitions is the definition which is called absolute pressure. Absolute pressure is the actual pressure at a given location and it is measured with regards to absolute vacuum. So let's say I define this level to be my absolute vacuum. All right. Then we have a level which is defined as the atmospheric pressure. I refer to as ATM. And then there is a third level. Now, remember, this third level could be above the atmospheric pressure or below the atmospheric pressure. You may have a pressure which is greater than the atmospheric pressure, or you may have a condition in which your pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure. So for the condition where you have the pressure greater than the atmospheric pressure, let's say some pressure shown by this line, let's say I call it pressure one, it is greater than the atmospheric pressure. Now, how do I define the absolute pressure? Absolute pressure is with regards to the absolute vacuum. That means the pressure of the location one, sorry, up till this point one, this is my absolute pressure. P A B S. This is my absolute pressure. That means pressure with regards to the absolute vacuum. Clear enough? All right. Then there is another pressure. The same pressure if it is measured with a gauge that you have bought. That gauge basically reads zero in the atmosphere. So that pressure the pressure of location one, sorry, the location one with risk with regards to your atmosphere where your atmosphere is basically. Calibrated in a way that the gauge would read zero in the atmosphere. That pressure is basically your gauge pressure. That means the pressure that your gauge would measure. It is the gauge pressure. The gauges that you find they are normally calibrated in a way that they read zero in the atmosphere clear. And the third pressure is basically the pressure from your absolute vacuum to the atmosphere, which is known as the pressure of the atmosphere and it is known as P ATM. Clear enough. Is it clear? All right. Another condition. If you have looked into this condition, another condition is where you have these three levels with you, but the this was the, the image to the right is where you had the first case in which your pressure at a given location was greater than the atmospheric pressure. Another condition is this or another dimension of this problem is where you have the actual pressure less than the atmospheric pressure. That means you have some certain vacuum clear. So the atmospheric pressure would remain the same. It is the pressure with regards to absolute vacuum till the atmosphere. The pressure difference between the atmosphere and the location two would be your vacuum pressure and the pressure with regards to absolute vacuum to that location would be the absolute pressure. Is it clear? Is me going doubt? G G G. Concept. What is the exact problem? Catch is clear. 
जी एब्सोल्यूट एब्सोल्यूट वैक्यूम वो है जहां पे आपका जीरो प्रेशर है दैट मींस देयर इज नथिंग देयर पूरा कंप्लीट वैक्यूम है एब्सोल्यूट वैक्यूम से मुराद है कि उसके अंदर कोई एयर मौजूद नहीं है प्रेशर एयर की वजह से है ना ये किसी गैस की वजह से जब किसी भी कंटेनर के अंदर कोई गैस मौजूद नहीं है तो दैट इज दूट वैक्यूम वैक्यूम का मतलब है कि लेसर अमाउंट ऑफ एयर और लेसर अमाउंट ऑफ गैस एब्सोल्यूट वैक्यूम का मतलब यह है कि देर इज नो एयर और नो गैस प्रेजेंट क्लियर है ये चीज ये नहीं है क्लियर अच्छा इफ दिस सो योर द लोएस्ट रेफरेंस यू हैव इज दैट ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट वैक्यूम जहां पे यू गेट यू से दैट देर इज नथिंग प्रेजेंट विद इन दैट कंटेनर क्लियर the second level is your atmosphere this is the atmosphere with regards to absolute vacuum what is the pressure that is your atmospheric pressure in both the conditions it would remain the atmospheric pressure atmospheric level pe jo pressure hai wo agar vacuum ke reference dekhunga absolute vacuum ke reference se dekhunga to that is defined as atmospheric pressure clear enough now you could have two conditions one condition is that your pressure in a system could be more than the atmospheric pressure or could be less than the atmospheric pressure clear when it is more than the atmospheric pressure aapka atmospheric pressure is level ke upar hai aur jo aap system study kar rahe hain us system mein pressure jo hai wo is level pe atmosphere aur iske darmiyan jo difference hoga that is measured by the gauge that you install on the cylinder clear that is gauge pressure vacuum on the other hand is when you have atmospheric pressure at this level aur jo system aap study kar rahe hain uska pressure atmosphere se kam hai so the difference between the atmosphere and this level would be the vacuum pressure clear lekin isko agar main absolute ke reference se dekhu which is the flow absolute vacuum ke reference se dekhu to this is known as the absolute pressure clear समझ आई ये चीज नहीं आई इसी वैक्यूम प्रेशर को मैं कम करता 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 जीरो पे ले जाऊंगा तो दैट इज माय एब्सोल्यूट वैक्यूम क्लियर सो द इक्वेशन दैट गवर्न दीज प्रेशर इफ योर प्रेशर इज ग्रेटर देन द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर यू विल हैव गेज प्रेशर व्हिच इज इक्वल एन टू दूट प्रेशर माइनस एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर दैट मीन दिस एब्सोलूट प्रेशर माइनस the atmospheric pressure this would tell you how much your pressure is greater than the atmosphere clear or the other case where you have the pressure in your system less than the atmosphere so the atmospheric pressure would remain the same the vacuum pressure this pressure would essentially be atmospheric pressure minus this absolute pressure is it clear aapko clear hua sawal aa raha hai agla jawab aap denge agar nahi clear hua to ask me right away clear hai all right so before the example you remember that in thermodynamics if the pressure is referred it is referred as absolute pressure otherwise it would be specified whether it is the absolute pressure whether it is the atmospheric pressure or the gauge pressure jahan bhi pressure mention hoga it would be absolute pressure unless and until it is specified that you are talking about the atmospheric pressure or the gauge pressure clear enough all right we have this example in front of us kindly find out the absolute pressure in a chamber you have a chamber in which the vacuum pressure is 5.8 psi एक चेंबर है जिसके अंदर प्रेशर जो है 5.8 psi है विच इज वैक्यूम प्रेशर वैक्यूम प्रेशर का मतलब ये कि एटमोस्फेरिक से कम है एंड द आउटसाइड प्रेशर इज 14.5 psi. फाइंड आउट दूट प्रेशर फाइंड इट आउट
सर एट पॉइंट सेवन आई हैव आस्क यू जी व्हाट वुड बी द प्रेशर व्हाट्स योर गुड नेम राहित क्या होगा एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर हाँ जी 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 एब्सोल्यूट कहां तक होगा दिस इज योर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर विच इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट अगर मैं फ्लोर को एज्यूम कर लू कि मेरा एब्सोल्यूट लेवल है दिस इज माई एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर विच इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव पी एस आई क्लियर अब जो जो इन्होंने वैक्यूम प्रेशर दिया हुआ वैक्यूम प्रेशर इज ग्रेटर देन दिस और लेस देन दिस लेस देन दिस वैक्यूम इज समेर ओवर हेयर क्लियर दिस इज माई वैक्यूम प्रेशर वैक्यूम प्रेशर मीन्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एटमोस्फेरिक and the level i am talking about vacuum so this is 5.8 psi what is the pressure with regards to the absolute level absolute is floor to so floor se yahan tak ki height kitni hogi in dono ka difference le lenge to kya karenge 5.8 minus 14.7 bilkul what is the answer comes out to be जी तो दिस वुड बी योर एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर क्लियर इनफ मूविंग ऑन वेरिएशन ऑफ प्रेशर विद डेप्थ नाउ रिमेंबर दैट इफ दिस इज अ कंटेनर इन विच आई हैव फ्लूड विद इन द कंटेनर आउटसाइड द कंटेनर ओवर हेयर आई विल हैव एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर विच इज नोन एज पी पी एम और राइट इस कंटेनर से बाहर आई हैव द प्रेशर विच इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर द मोमेंट आई मूव इन टू द फ्लूड एज आई गो डाउन इन टू द फ्लूड द प्रेशर वुड बी इंक्रीजिंग दैट मीन इट वुड बी पी एटमोस्फेरिक विच इज एक्टिंग एट दिस सर्फेस दिस इज द प्रेशर विच इज एक्टिंग एट दिस सर्फेस समवेयर डाउन ओवर हेयर लेट से आई हैव दिस लेवल समवेयर ओवर हेयर i will have the pressure which is p atmospheric plus some pressure value clear that means the water on top of this layer is the weight of that water is also acting a pressure so as i go down the amount of weight acting on certain layer increases so the pressure at that point increases clear enough you define this pressure with respect to the depth which you have moved that means this pressure only the pressure from this point to this point this pressure would be equivalent to rho multiplied by g multiplied by the height which is essentially this height that you have moved clear so the pressure within the fluid increases with respect to the depth h or if you refer to it as z whatever you whatever symbol you give it as you move do, deep into the fluid the pressure increases and the increase in pressure is equivalent to rho g which is rho density g is the gravity and h is the height or the depth you have moved into the fluid clear enough we'll see how we can get to this point this is the equation we are talking about and we'll see how we can derive this equation so let's say i have the same fluid with me z basic z axis basically rep is representing the depth in the fluid all right i have selected a certain region within the fluid or certain volume rectangular volume within the fluid in which the this side 
the length of this side is represented as delta x the change in depth is represented as delta z and the depth into the board this depth into the board is one unit all right is it clear is the geometry clear to you so you have taken a 2d and the depth of the 2d is one unit clear one of the dimension is delta x and one of the dimension is delta z <coughs> delta z is basically representing the change in depth all right the change in depth from this point to this point clear let's say the pressure acting on top of the surface is p1 and the pressure acting from the bottom is p2 clear all right now we want to see how much the pressure changes if i move the length of delta z within the fluid is it clear is the point clear नहीं क्लियर अगर मैं इस पॉइंट पे फ्लूड में खड़ा हुआ हूं तो मेरे जो मेरा प्रेशर है वो पी वन एक्ट हो रहा है क्लियर है इफ आई मूव फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट दैट मींस आई हैव मूव्ड द डेप्थ ऑफ डेल्टा जी हाउ मच प्रेशर हैज चेंज आई हैव रेफर्ड टू द प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट एज पी टू क्लियर वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द रिलेशनशिप वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पी टू माइनस how much the pressure has changed as i have moved the length delta z within the fluid clear all right now along the z axis there are three forces acting one is the pressure p1 which is acting on the fluid downwards one is the pressure p2 which is acting from the bottom onto the element that i have selected clear and the third is the weight of the volume that i have selected which is acting downwards clear summation of these three forces should be equal to zero in the case of equilibrium clear so that means summation of forces acting along the z axis summation of all the forces acting along z axis should be equal to zero in the equilibrium condition clear enough now let's see what are the three forces if i want to convert pressure into force how do i do that i am multiplied by the area so let's see the pressure p1 pressure p1 is acting downwards i will assign it a sign negative and i would say the pressure p1 multiplied by the area which is delta x multiplied by what if this is the volume of the fluid this length is delta x this is delta z the depth i have said is 1 so the pressure acting on this surface should be what the area of the surface should be what delta z is this ye surface hai delta z is this delta x is this length this depth is one unit what is the area delta x multiplied by 1 clear enough all right so the force acting on the top surface would be Minus P one multiplied by delta x, delta x multiplied by one. Clear? That is the depth that we have assumed, and the force acting upwards due to P two would be what? Plus P two multiplied by delta x multiplied by one. Clear enough? that would essentially be now the third thing which is acting downwards is my weight or the weight of the volume that i have selected how do you find out weight that means density is mass per unit volume if i multiply density by the volume of this unit i would essentially get the weight i would essentially get the mass all right so what is the volume delta x multiplied by delta z multiplied by 1 would give me the volume or the, the mass of this volume and if i have to convert it into weight what do i have to do i multiply it by the value of gravity this would essentially be equal to 0 so delta x would cancel out in all the three 
and essentially what you will get is p2 minus p1 is equivalent to p2 minus p1 is equivalent to rho g delta z clear and you already know that density multiplied by gravity is specific weight you have already learned that clear so the only variable which is affecting the pressure p2 is delta z clear let's say i am standing over here the pressure over here is p atmospheric all right and i want to calculate the pressure at let's say this height and this height is given by the dimension or the magnitude h clear so what would be the pressure acting at this along this line the red line although i have not drawn it correctly uh, the pressure on this line would be what if this height is h and the out is p atmospheric what would be the pressure acting on the line p atmospheric plus rho g h is it clear is the point clear all right so the pressure acting on the bottom would be p atmospheric plus rho g h and if i am expressing in terms of gauge pressure i know for gauges the atmospheric pressure is zero so my pressure would be rho g h clear in case i don't have any if, if if the value of density is also changing with respect to the depth then you would have to integrate in such a way that there is a relationship available between density and the depth that you are talking about in order to integrate it clear is it clear all right now always remember that if you are talking about a fluid if the fluid remains same that means the density is not changing and you are talking about the same level of fluid you would have the same pressure at the same height clear enough provided that the liquid is connected clear ye nahi ho sakta ki if i have these two bottles and they both contain water and they are placed at this level the pressure of this height would be the same as pressure of this height it is not necessarily possible when i say connected that means these two should be connected if they are connected and having same fluid at the same height they would have the same pressure clear enough we'll see a little more into this when we move on towards barometer or the manometer other now i have these three fluids available to me i have to calculate the pressure at point p1 this pressure is atmospheric pressure what is the pressure at this point at the point that i have highlighted this red point what is the pressure at this point एच टू एच थ्री कौन कर रहे एट दिस पॉइंट एच टू डज मैटर और नॉट तो द प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट वुड बी पी एटमोस्फेरिक प्लस रो वन विच इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एच वन वॉट वुड बी द प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट p atmospheric plus rho 1 g h1 plus rho 2 g h2 clear enough and similarly the pressure yes aap bataye na h1 plus h2 aayega is the fluid connected agar is fluid ko main yahan se nikal lu 
इस फ्लूड को निकाल के यहां पर रख लू तो प्रेशर क्या होगा बॉटम पे दिस द प्रेशर ड्यू टू ड्यू टू दिस फ्लूड वन यू हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग रो वन जी एच वन आप यहां पे पहुंच गए इस पॉइंट पे आपको प्रेशर पता है द ओनली प्रेशर यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट इज फॉर दिस हाइट ऑफ द फ्लूड Which is a different fluid. That's why I said H1 plus H2. You are not doing it. Why? Because the fluids are changing. Clear? So the pressure at the bottom would be P atmospheric plus the pressure due to fluid one, which is row one G G H1, plus the pressure due to fluid two, which is row two G H2, plus the pressure due to fluid three, which is row three G H3. Clear? All right. Based on this principle. we are talking about fluids which are liquid based on the same principle let's say we have a manometer in the manometer we have a container of gas and some liquid the gas as it is written over here it would have same pressure throughout the container chahe yahan pe khade ho aap chahe you are over here either you are over here or you are over here or you are at point 1 the pressure at the pressure within the gas would be the same clear since the density of gases is very less they they are not affected by the height the pressure of gases is not very much affected by the height liquids mein ye cheez nahi hoti kyunki unki density is zyada hai clear so within the container of gas you would have same pressure throughout the gas clear so if i am standing at point 1 which is the pressure p1 would the gas has the same pressure p1 or not gas ka pressure p1 hi hoga ya different hoga is point pe jo pressure hai would it be same for the gas or not ji yes abhi maine kya bataya aapko thank you bilal मैंने क्या बताया आपको अभी सॉरी गैस की बात कर रहा हूं तो गैस का प्रेशर जो है वो P1 पे जो प्रेशर है वही होगा या कोई और होगा अभी मैंने क्या बात कर मैंने कहा है कि एरिया का इफेक्ट है क्या मैंने कहा है कि एरिया का इफेक्ट है जो बात अभी मैंने बताई है कि विद इन द कंटेनर ऑफ गैस यू वुड हैव सेम प्रेशर आप कहीं भी मूव कर जाएं इस पिंक रीजन के अंदर कहीं भी मूव कर जाएं थ्रू आउट दिस रीजन यू हैव गैस अवेलेबल विच वुड हैव सर्टेन प्रेशर इफ आई से दैट द गैस ओवर हेयर हैज अ प्रेशर पी वन रेस्ट ऑफ द कंटेनर में प्रेशर वही होगा या चेंज होगा सिंपल क्वेश्चन सेम होगा All right. So the pressure at point P one is basically the pressure of the gas. Clear? Now, if you talk about this fluid, this is liquid. This fluid is it connected? One and two points. One and two are they connected by the fluid? Point one and two are they connected by the fluid? Is the fluid same? Point one and two. Look at the points. Are they connected by the fluid? Is the fluid same? Are they at same height? If these three conditions meet, the pressure at point one and the pressure at point two would be the same. Clear? All right. So the pressure at point two would be what? Very good. if i know the pressure at this point is p1 or p2 and i calculate the pressure at this point what should i do sorry is height se is height ki taraf jana hai to pressure kya hoga ज्यादा हो जाएगा कम हो जाएगा ओके फर्स्ट थिंग 
जो प्रेशर पी टू पे है क्या अगर मैं हाइट ऊपर की तरफ मूव कर रहा हूं प्रेशर ज्यादा होगा या कम होगा कितना कम होगा माइनस रो जी एच दैट वुड बी द प्रेशर क्लियर सो इफ आई हैव प्रेशर पी टू एंड आई मूव टूवर्ड्स दिस पॉइंट विच इज हाइलाइटेड माय प्रेशर वुड बी पी टू माइनस रो जी एच एंड दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू द प्रेशर जो कि इसके ऊपर एक्ट कर रहा है विच इज विच प्रेशर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर सो योर पी एटमोस्फेरिक should be equal to p2 minus rho gh now if i have to calculate the pressure of the gas that should be equal to what p atmospheric plus rho gh is it clear in other words i have at this point i have the pressure p atmospheric if i want to calculate the pressure at point 2 i will add to p atmospheric the term rho gh this would give me the pressure at point 2 and i know that the pressure at point 2 would be equivalent to the pressure at point 1 because the fluid is connected is the same and it is at the same height and if i know the pressure at p1 i know it is the same pressure as that of the gas throughout the container clear enough so if i want to measure the pressure of the gas the only variable that i want to or the only value that i want to have is basically the height that i can measure physically clear is it clear then i have a little more complicated example we have a fluid flowing in this direction in such a way that over here the pressure is p1 and as it moves across this section which is let's say a turbine a compressor or some component which changes the pressure so i have another pressure over here which is p2 i want to find out the relationship between p1 and p2 in terms of pressure what i do is that i start from one point let's say i start with point 1 and i am i start moving towards this point so the first pressure i have is p1 all right i want to get to this point this the pressure at this the point a what is the pressure at point a the fluid has a density density of rho 1 g value is constant the depth is known to you so what is the pressure at point a Rho one, g, and the total depth, which is a plus h. Clear enough. Now, the pressure at point A and the pressure at point B, is it same? I'll I'll remove it so that it is visible to you. the pressure at point a and the pressure at point b this is what this is what this is this pressure represents what the pressure at what point the one that i have underlined the pressure at point a is it the same at as the one at point b because the fluid is connected it is at the same height and it is the same fluid clear by the way don't confuse get confused when i say there is one fluid over here and this at the common point they both clear? all right so the point a and point b would be same all right now if i have to move upwards the first intersection i get is at this point so what would be the pressure at this point if i moving upwards the pressure would be plus or minus minus and the density of the material is what rho 1 or rho 2 multiplied by g multiplied by what then from here i have to move towards point 
how would i calculate the pressure from this point towards the point 2 minus rho 1 g and that would be equivalent to the pressure at point which is p 2 is it clear all right so whenever you have to calculate you start from one point start moving towards the other point when you reach to that point the pressure would be equal clear just give me a minute just give me a minute so this is the equation we just derived if you look into the equation you would see that rho 1 ga and rho 1 ga they would cancel out so essentially you would have p 1 minus p 2 if i bring p 2 on to this side and rho 1 rho 2 both have common multiplication of g and h clear so if you move on to other if you move the two terms on the other side you would have the difference in the density is multiplied by g multiplied by h that gives you the difference in the pressure so if you know the pressure p1 if you know the density of the two fluids and if you somehow measure the height you would be able to calculate the pressure at point p2 clear ji kaun se liquid ki baat kar rahe hain do color mein लिक्विड ही डिफरेंट है लिक्विड डिफरेंट है ना लिक्विड डिफरेंट का मतलब ये कि डेंसिटी इज डिफरेंट है अगर मैंने कह दिया लिक्विड डिफरेंट है इसका मतलब है डेंसिटी कौन से दो लिक्विड है इनकी डेंसिटी एक ही है क्योंकि आप कैल आप कैलकुलेट क्या कर रहे हैं देखे पॉइंट ए के ऊपर जो प्रेशर मैंने कैलकुलेट किया है वो मैंने कैलकुलेट किया है किस हाइट की वजह से इस हाइट की वजह से मैंने कैलकुलेट किया प्रेशर ये हाइट जो है वो किस फ्लूड की वजह से वो इस फ्लूड की वजह से जो कि रोमन है इफ यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस इन द कलर अप टिल पॉइंट ए यू हैव फ्लूड वन विच इज लाइट पिंक इन कलर ये चीज क्लियर है वो प्रेशर इस फ्लूड की वजह से नहीं है ये चीज क्लियर है नहीं है और राइट विल क्विकली और राइट विल मूव टूवर्ड्स बैरोमीटर और द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर अगेन द काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर यूनिट्स वी हैड आई हैड मेंशन अर्लियर द मिलीमीटर एच जी विल सी बैरोमीटर इज बेसिकली यूज टू मई एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर दिस इज द डिवाइस let's say i have mercury within this container and within the tube if i want to calculate the pressure due to this height of mercury the height between c and b which is h the pressure due to this would be what the pressure due to the height would be what the pressure due to this height would be what h density of mercury multiplied by g multiplied by this height would give me the pressure acting at this point b is it clear i assume for this i have assumed that the vapors of mercury over here they have negligible pressure all right is it clear so the pressure exerted by this column from c to b would give me a pressure equivalent to rho of mercury g and the h of the column clear and the pressure is same throughout the all right throughout the level which is defined by point b you will have same pressure the pressure acting over here is what is atmospheric pressure so can i write that p atmospheric is equivalent to rho g h is it clear now i know that the atmospheric pressure is what 101 325 newton per meter square known to me is it known the density of mercury is what 13595 be careful of the units 
and the value of g is what multiplied by <coughs> this value multiplied by height the height comes out to be what 760 mm all right so that means a height of 760 mm mercury is equivalent to the atmospheric pressure clear enough now you understand where this 760 mm hg comes from so 760 mm hg basically refers, refers to the atmospheric pressure which is 101325 clear enough another point to highlight is that the pressure is not affected or the column height is not affected by the cross sectional area of the tube i have one fluid same fluid and tubes having different cross sectional area all the heights would be same and they would be reflecting the pressure outside they would be equal acting from the outside clear it will not be affected by the cross sectional area of the tube is it clear all right we have two examples i'll quickly go through the examples do them yourself at home i'll show you how to do it the first example where you have to find out the pressure within the container you have this container in which you have a gas and you want to find out the pressure of this gas the atmospheric pressure is known to you 96 kilopascal the height this height is given to you with the help of this height you can find out the pressure at this point clear the pressure at this point would be the same as pressure at this point and if you know the pressure at this point this would be the pressure of the gas in the container clear enough yes, the only trick is that you have to find out the density which is the specific gravity specific gravity is the ratio of the density of a material to the density of water at 4 degree centigrade which is 1 gram per centimeter cube so what would be the density of the material that you'll use you will not use 0.85 because the rest rest of the units are in kg or meter square so you will multiply it with the density of water which is 100 kg per meter per meter cube clear sorry 1000 kg per meter cube so you will multiply it by 1000 kg per meter cube you will then get the density in kg per meter cube and you will apply the same equation atmospheric pressure plus rho g it would give you the density or would give you the pressure of the gas be mindful of the units you are using the homogeneous units all right the second example is where you have a little more complicated system in which you have to find the pressure of air in the tank over here at this point and the atmospheric pressure is given to you 85.6 kilopascal that is the pressure over here you have three different fluids mercury oil and water if i start from this point point 2 what is the pressure at this point at point 2 atmospheric pressure if i move on to this point what would be the pressure rho of mercury g multiplied by h2 this is the same pressure at this point is it clear now if i have to move upwards let's say at this height minus what minus density of oil g multiplied by the height h2 clear this would be the same pressure at at this point and would have the same pressure at this point clear now if i have to move upwards i have to again subtract the rho of water multiplied by g multiplied by h1 this would give me the pressure at point 1 or the pressure of air in the chamber clear enough i have as a solution in the next slide kindly go and do this problem yourself before looking at the solution all right so i'll end the session over here your first chapter is finished we'll inshallah be starting with the next chapter in the coming week Ab abdullah are you there yes